Welcome, this is the Delta Math tutorial on given the parabola, find the possible de discriminant. Here, you're going to hit start, and you're going to be using this information. We look here, we see that this parabola only touches the x-intercept once, so we go here. So for it to be one x-intercept, there is one solution, so the discriminant here has to be equal to zero, so we hit zero. That is correct. Here, we saw that there is no x-intercept, so no x-intercept, no solution, so the discriminant here has to be negative. Therefore, it's negative 4. Here, the parabola only touches once on the x-intercept, so one x-intercept, one real solution, so the discriminant is equal to 0. Next, here, it doesn't the parabola does not intersect, so there is no x-intercept, there is no real solution, so the discriminant here is going to be a negative, so negative 13. Here, it only touches once, so here it has one x-intercept, one real solution, so the parabola has a discriminant of 0. Here, it touches twice. So there are two x-intercepts, therefore there are two real solutions, so the discriminant here has to be positive. The only positive number here is a 1. Next, this also touches the x-intercept twice. So two x-intercepts means two real solutions, therefore the discriminant is going to be a positive number. So we could put in 2. Here, it, the parabola only touches once one x-intercept, one real solution, therefore the discriminant equals to zero. Here, uh, the parabola does not intersect. There are no real solution, so the discriminant here is going to be negative. Here, the parabola only touches once, so there's one intercept, therefore one real solution, so the discriminant here is equal to zero. And there you go. All right. So this is how you go over 10 of those different problems. Again, you're going to be using these notes. The discriminant is referred to be inside the radical. Because the discriminant is under the radical symbol, you can use the value of the discriminant to determine the number of real solutions of a quadratic equation and the numbers of x-intercepts of the graph of the related function, like what we did. So there you go. That is how you find the given parabola, find the possible discriminant.